In this lesson, we are going to talk about uh, snaps, uh, the view plane, work plane switch, uh, and uh, this auto plane, auto and 3D. If you are familiar with AutoCAD, these snap symbols are very similar to AutoCAD, but some of them are special to Tecla. For example, this middle button, the center button, this perpendicular button, the near button, they are all common to AutoCAD or any DWG CAD. What is different is this anywhere, snap to anywhere. Snap to intersection also is there in AutoCAD. Snap to midpoint is in AutoCAD. This one, snap to points at grid intersections, that is Tecla. And a snap to endpoints of elements, that is also Tecla. This one, snap to reference lines uh, used in our drawings and snap to geometry lines points this is also uh, in uh, drawings i suppose suppose i want to draw a construction line construction line and i'm going to click this off and i try to draw a line here it doesn't pick that point but if i click here this one this is snap anywhere it will click to anywhere it doesn't look for any geometry or anything now similarly, see I have got a couple of points here. Uh, this one snaps to points and grid intersections. You have to click this one as well as this button uh, for it to work. So let's create a construction line. These two are clicked in. So I'm going to uh, click that in. So it selects that as a point and a construction line. Here, this one. This one says snap to geometry lines and points. Uh, check it out. This one is for reference lines, points, and objects. It's not so clear. Even I get confused as to what these things are doing. Have a bit of investigation on this one. The other thing you can do is you can uh, tab. For example, let me start from here and I'm gone to intersection. It is showing intersection point. Just picked up the intersection point. Intersection point is uh, clicked down here. So now I put my mouse over there and I'm going to press the tab key. So you can see now it has changed to the nearest point. That is that one. Okay, okay. Let me get to nearest. Tab again. It goes to perpendicular snap. And now if I click here, clicks at the perpendicular I'm going to draw a beam with this uh, plain view as normal that is I'm looking perpendicular to the view plane and if I now click two points the handles will default to the view plane so you can see that that's the view plane, that's the grid. Grid is always drawn at the view plane uh, when this switch is on view plane. And you can see that has defaulted to the view plane RL. But now if I turn it a little bit and then uh, click, then wherever I click, I can snap it. I'm going to snap to the middle. So that's the middle. click and I'm going to again snap to the middle so it has default it has gone to the middle so I can also click somewhere else see wherever I click but see the view I have tilted a little bit if I go like that it will be always on the view plane but that is because I got this switch here on auto Suppose let me switch this to plane and then let's try again. So I'm going to draw a beam from here. What's the mouse? What's the mouse where that is going? The mouse is going to the view plane. See that? Even though I'm cl clicking the top of the column, the beam is drawn at the bottom on the view plane. That is because this switch is on plane. So let's try again here. 
to here it is always on plane now let me switch that plane to 3d okay I just hit the grid so that my cursor does not click snap to the grid points now if I draw a beam now with uh, this switch on 3d it will pick the beam or whatever element it is on so you can see that normally on a control P that is uh, with the plane view normal this beam would have gone to the view RL but uh, if this switch is on 3d it will pick uh, it will snap to the element we are picking now if I want to draw a set of beams at the top RL here there are a couple of ways you can do it one is I can inquire that top RL here and then open a view at that RL switch to control P and draw beams there that will definitely go on to that RL another way is I can set the work plane here and then switch this view plane to work plane okay first let me switch the work view plane to work plane what's the grid so the grid color has now changed to red which indicates that the work plane mode is on now let me set the work plane to top of this beam so I'm going to go work plane using the work plane tool I am going to pick that point see what has happened now now the work plane grid which is the red grid is switching to the top of the column the original grid the view plane grid is green and it is there you can see now if I press control P of course it is the same view if I draw some beams now it will be at the work plane you can see that it's on the work plane now let me put a point in the midpoint of this column so there is my point and then I'm going to use the work plane and set the work plane to this viewpoint so work plane using one point I set the work plane there and now I'm going to switch this view plane to work plane you can see the grid there now I'm going to uh, go control P and then draw some beams